Hi, my name's Rosanna and I'm an artist and athlete based in Loughborough. This video will explain who I am and give a detailed description of my proposal for the Lily Parr exhibition. Please see the written document for a summary of my ideas and images used in this video. So, my practice is interdisciplinary, bringing together my passions of football and futsal, an indoor five-a-side variant of football and art. My ambition is to merge the two cultures of art and sport and bring awareness to the women's game, both football and futsal, and empower female and non-binary players. Since 2016, I have been recreating the fascinating movement of football and futsal through line, text, performance and poetry. Please take a look at my Instagram to see examples of my work. Parallel to my studio practice and these layered line drawings, I also reach out to football teams and communities to engage with my drawing workshops. Each player is given a piece of chalk um, and encouraged to recreate their own movement in relation to my movement as the ball. As an experienced coach, I was able to communicate clearly with the players and I found the workshops to be really, really successful. Here is a clip from one of my workshops. They worked as a pedagogical tool and it was a fun and bonding experience for the players. Although I'm proposing a different concept, this would be the sort of environment I'd like to recreate when running the community banner workshops. The design aspect of the banners would be as follows. First of all, the slogan on the banners is particularly important because it is the first thing that visitors will see. Text is an integral part of my own practice as I use words to create continuous lines as I listen to recorded audio or remember words that I hear on the pitch. In the past year, I have developed these ideas through poetry, creating thought-provoking slogans for my performance work. The main slogan that I use is make space for us. This was made to express my frustrations as a female futsal player in the UK in which there is no women's set up for the game. Here is a small clip of this performance. The court's the same, goal's the same, each player's goal the same, to win, to play, but it's too dark to see on this unlevel playing field. No need to switch, we share the same passion. Man, woman, or better, we make the space for ourselves, no need to flash them. Make this space for us. Make the space for us now, for everyone. The phrase make space for us is wordplay, as we make space on the court, but we need more space in the futsal community. To me, this phrase is inherently political, as it can be reflected in other marginalised groups that have few spaces to thrive in. For example, the LGBTQ plus community, of which I'm a proud member. I also draw parallels from this slogan with Lily Parr's story, as she made space for thousands of women and girls to play football and evoke change in the UK. With this in mind, I propose that the phrases on the banner should be as follows. Lily Parr made space for us. Lily Parr left a trace. Follow her movement, follow her pace, on and off the pitch. Other variations of this are in the written document. Other words that could be used and printed small on the banner are step up, shift, drive forward, or work for each other. These phrases can be heard on the pitch, but also use similar wordplay as they encourage change for the women's game and express how we should come together, work for each other, drive forward, and step up. These words could also be displayed throughout the exhibition for visitors to find. Now I will discuss how the community aspect will be introduced into the creation of the banners. So before the lettering is printed, I will use the workshops to create the background of the banners. Along with my line drawings, I also create stud paintings using old football boots and acrylic paint. Here is an example of one of the pieces. I thought this would be a really fun and engaging experience for members of the community to create their own stub paintings and then see them used in the museum. In doing so, I'd be introducing them 
to the amazing way that art and football can come together. These paintings would be the perfect backdrop for the slogans as members of the public would be moving around as if on the pitch, making space and leaving a trace, just as Lily Parr did, but this time with paint. They can also use their hands to pick up the boots, dip them in paint instead of using them on their feet. Here is an image of the design concept for these workshops. As you can see, logistically, this workshop can be easily tailored to socially distancing rules, with four to six people on each large piece of paper, with each person sticking to their section. Fingers crossed, however, we won't have to be socially distancing by then. So once everyone's had fun painting with their football boots, it's then time to move on to the more educational side of the workshop, which of course is just as fun. So moving all the paints to the side, we then have a discussion about Lily Parr's life and her amazing story. We bring along with us a shorter version of the audio tour and also printouts for those that are hearing impaired. They then write and draw while listening, um, replicating the way that I work in my practice. I would also encourage them to write in a continuous line um, as if moving on the pitch. Here are some examples of how the banners would look with these extra words on. The final part of the workshop would include drawing lines of movement and writing words they would say on the pitch, as mentioned before. Additionally, it would be really great if images of the workshops taking place could be displayed in the gallery to show how the community was involved in the exhibition and how now the visitors coming to the exhibition are also part of this movement and leaving their own trace. The stud paintings could be a continuous visual throughout the exhibition, with stud footprints printed along the floor to guide viewers around the museum. This could also encourage a socially distant one-way system. Please see part five and six of the written document for further imagery and explanation of this part of my proposal. This brings us to the end of my video Thank you very much for watching and considering my application. I'm extremely, extremely excited to be in with a chance to be part of this amazing and important exhibition.